Tonight, a Chicago couple say their alderman is holding their dreams hostage. The couple has spent thousands rehabbing and building uh, to open a business, but they say the alderman is shutting them down. CBS2 political investigator Dan, Dan Kozlov found out it all comes down to one letter and one issue. Dana. Yeah, Brad, shutting them down before they even have had a chance to get that business off the ground. That letter that they need for that project ultimately also means they need the alderman's approval for their business plan. They believe this holdup is an example of aldermanic overreach, but the alderman says that is not the case. This space right here will be like a small little space. It's a work in progress, but Desiree and Marlon Wilcox bought this South Shore building and adjacent lot to convert it into the business of their dreams, a non-smoking, no alcohol event space for things like um, workshops, um, pop-up shops. But right now, the Wilcoxes are hitting a roadblock. Despite paying almost $4,000 a month in mortgage, insurance, and taxes and getting approval from the city, they can't get a required alley access letter from the 7th Ward Alderman, Greg Mitchell. He said, my vision is not his vision, and if I can't go off of their vision, then they cannot support me. This one little thing is shutting us down, and it frustrates me. Some ugly, some ugly. The Wilcoxes say they've been trying to work this out with Alderman Mitchell for months with no luck, and no Zoom or in-person meeting was granted. Shortly after I reached out to Mitchell's office and to his assistant, the Wilcoxes got this, an email from that assistant, again stating, your business would not be supported by the community, the Alderman, and surrounding police districts. It's not trash that we're bringing in. We're trying to uplift the neighborhood, trying to be positive towards the neighborhood. So to turn that down, it's a crime. And they're trying to do it on a stretch of 75th Street full of vacant, boarded up buildings. By phone, Alderman Mitchell told me he's just following constituent marching orders who want to see a grocery store, cleaners, or a deli there. When I asked if it was appropriate for him to deny this business opportunity to the building's owners, he took offense, saying the community doesn't want an event space. But the Wilcoxes aren't giving up. We worked hard and my husband believed in me and I, and I cannot let him down. The Wilcoxes say they still want to work with Alderman Mitchell, but are also reaching out to Mayor Lori Lightfoot's office. Now, on her first day of office, the mayor signed an executive order banning so-called aldermanic prerogative. That was a long-standing Chicago tradition, which gave aldermen the final say on any projects in that alderman's ward. I reached out to the mayor's office this afternoon to ask her if this was an example of what she had banned more than a year ago. but. I did not hear back. Live outside Chicago City Hall, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Brad? All right. It has a scent of that. Thank you, Dana.